New Structures in the Koi Fish, with help from some collaborators. Welcome to SETI Astro. I do want to preface this video that I like to look at my data after each night and do a little processing even if I don't have complete data. And I noticed right away in oxygen that there was some structure off of the Koi galaxy and I went on a little hunt trying to find it and looked through various catalogs and various survey images and was not able to find any similar structure. It would be off to the left of all these, roughly to the left of this yellow circle. And this was the initial data I had. It's just above the noise floor. So I went on to collect a lot more of it and eventually had some collaborators join in the hunt with me and donate some time of theirs as well. Here is a little bit of the progression of data. The oldest here, kind of uh, near the end and then the full oxygen. The structure is definitely there and well defined, quite, above, quite far above the noise floor. Quickly covering the RGB data, here's blue, green, and red. We did spend more time gathering additional green data, so we had a clean continuum subtraction for the oxygen. RGB combined, uh, in a starless image here, the Koi galaxy in the middle uh, looks uh, like any other galaxy here, but we really want to focus on the oxygen and hydrogen structures in this image. For hydrogen, it looks very similar to other galaxies dotted with hydrogen structure and even the area of interest here has a haze of hydrogen over it. Continuum subtracting the hydrogen data, there is quite a bit of uh, structure in the koi fish. Now on to the oxygen with the collaborated data. Here at the top is the structures that we are looking at. There's also a nice jet of oxygen emission off to the left here and plenty of others dotted throughout. Continuum subtracting the oxygen, you can really see the two oxygen structures up here. Uh, the lower one does seem to be associated with the hydrogen structure in the catalogs. The upper oxygen is unlisted and mostly blank, even in some of the other deeper surveys. I know the entire galaxy is called the koi fish, but these two could be koi fish swimming around each other, or even more like a yin and yang. Contrasting the oxygen and the hydrogen is quite revealing. Here's the oxygen. And the hydrogen. Hydrogen is the big diffuse blob and then in the oxygen it is those two sharply defined structures. Also off to the right in this image here. In hydrogen there's not a whole lot there but there's a nicely defined object as well in oxygen. I did utilize the 4x palette script to combine the hydrogen and oxygen continuum subtracted data. In the upper left is the structures of interest, particularly the oxygen structure at the top. But there is plenty of other structure here. Here's that blue oxygen structure that wasn't seen at all in hydrogen. The jet over here did have some hydrogen at the center, but oxygen on either end of it, so I'm not sure what uh, kind of structure that actually is, if it, if it is a jet of some sort and plenty of other gas and nebulosity here in the middle of the koi fish. For the stars, I did use the fork script on the narrowband data for the combination of the narrowband stars. Doing that ensures that I did retain any items that may have been pulled out during the star removal process. As you can see, some of that galaxy up here was actually removed during the star removal process as well. So. Using the narrowband stars does ensure that we're going to put those back into the final image. 
combining the RGB and the narrowband continuum subtracted data left me with this as my final koi fish galaxy complete with all the gas and nebulosity really popping throughout it and our undefined catalog structures up here and now we can see that what was looking like a jet is really the extension of an arm of the galaxy with its own narrowband data within it as well as a thin structure coming off the galaxy up here ending in the oxygen structure that wasn't present in hydrogen at all. Now combining everything back with the stars, these are final image here of the koi fish galaxy and the surrounding galaxies. There is a lot of items throughout the entire image in the background, including all our newly discovered uncatalogued oxygen structures within the galaxy itself. Now I also want to present the renditions that my collaborators, Sean, Carl, and myself were able to develop for our final images. And then I also have a final blended master image. We have Sean's to the left, Carl's in the middle, and mine on the right. I then took Carl and Sean's and averaged them and applied a very mild convolution to get rid of some artifacts. And finally, I extracted the luminance for my image and layered that onto the color combined Sean and Carl image for a final blended image of our koi fish galaxy, complete with the uncatalogued oxygen structures and all the nebulosity within it. Really investigating the Vizier catalog, there is not a whole lot of structure within the koi fish uh, in the catalogs. So there is a lot of potential here for new items that really need to be identified and studied. I know not every galaxy can have professional telescope time on it, but this one really obviously has not been studied at all. And there is a ton of structure in there. So this galaxy season, I would encourage everybody to go out and shoot narrowband data on their galaxies, especially in oxygen as there aren't a lot of surveys of oxygen out there yet. In this particular annotation, I really wanted to see all the background galaxies. So this is everything in Vizier that has a galaxy associated with it. There are a lot of them throughout from all sorts of different catalogs, including some from the Gaia survey, which turned out to be galaxies and not stars. So there are plenty of, there is plenty of science to dig into if you are a big galaxy fan and like researching some of these further away galaxies. One galaxy cluster of note that I was drawn to right away is this cluster here in the left of the image, mostly because PGC 1811760 had a very strong oxygen emission in the middle of it, which I found very intriguing as well. It stood out when I did the continuum subtraction. I have also updated Astrobin with our collaborated efforts, calling it new blue scales on the koi fish. I have details for our various instruments, all our integration times over 54 total hours. A little write-up and links to both Carl's website and Sean's Astrobin. And then some further descriptions on some of the structures. A little animation for the narrowband data. Some crop views and annotated images. I have also updated my website, cityastro.com with the new blue scales on the koi fish, the zoomed in versions, the animation, some comparisons, links to Carl and Sean's pages, and various annotations. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope everybody goes hunting for new structures this galaxy season. 
Please comment, like, and subscribe.